everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new. Today I am going to be working on my master bedroom closet. I'm going to be switching out my winter and fall clothes for my summer and spring clothes. And every year when I do this, I like to declutter my clothes just to kind of go through and reevaluate, see if there's things I'm not really wearing anymore and things that I can go ahead and donate or otherwise get rid of. And so I figured I could go ahead and take you all along with me today so that I can give you a little bit of declutter and organization, inspiration and motivation. Also, if you've been with me for a while, then you know that I also have done a complete transformation and reorganization of my master bedroom closet about a year ago. I can leave a link to that if you haven't yet had an opportunity to see it. But in that video, I took everything out of the closet, decluttered, went through every single item and got rid of a ton of stuff and totally reorganized the way I have my closet set up. So I also thought I could take this opportunity to give you all a little bit of an update so that you can see what my closet is looking like now, show you the areas I feel like I have been able to keep up with, and then show you some of the areas maybe where I'm struggling a little bit and I need to kind of reorganize those areas and come up with better systems in order to make things stay a little bit more neat and organized. So before I get into switching out my clothes and all the decluttering, I'll go ahead and give you a tour of what my closet is looking like today, and then we'll get into the organization. Okay, so starting out on the left side of my closet, this is where I keep all of my blazers and hoodies and jackets on the top rack. And then on the bottom rack is where I keep slacks, jeans, and skirts. So I would say overall I've done pretty decent with keeping those two sections in pretty good order. I don't have things subcategorized on that top shelf like I would like, so I have hoodies and jackets and blazers all kind of mixed in together. They're not subgrouped out anymore, so that's one thing that I would want to fix. Okay, then on this next section I have my bins where I keep some of my folded clothes, so starting at the top. I have my robe up there and then some just loungewear and pajama bottoms. So that's decent, it's overflowing though, so we might need to do some work there. This next shelf is where I keep my jewelry and it is still way over full and needs to be decluttered. So I have a separate video that I plan to do on that. I have been on my way to do that for the past year and still haven't gotten around to it, so stay tuned for that. Okay, the next shelf is where I keep my leggings and I would say I've done a pretty good job of keeping them in good order. They're all kind of folded nicely, um, but this section is starting to overflow a little bit so I do need to go through there, as well as my camis that I keep in this little bin, so that's doing pretty good as well. This next section is where I keep all of my workout clothes and gear, so this box pretty decent. This is where I keep my long sleeve tops and my leggings and then this other one is where I keep my sports bras, tops, and other gear. So I feel good about the boxes still being categorized but they are a little messy so I want to take care of that. Then this section is where I keep just a few random shoes. So these are my indoor workout shoes. I keep those there and then these are just other random shoes that I haven't worn in years and I probably just need to get rid of them but I'm holding on to them for some reason so we'll see if I wear them this summer. And then this is some more workout gear. These are some workouts that I had printed out. I probably can find a better spot to keep those. And then some resistance bands. I just kind of keep these here since I keep all my workout gear in this section. All right, the floor. Floor's not looking so great. Um, I've got some organization bins that are causing clutter. So that's the last thing you want. Um, so I need to do something with those. I've got my yoga mat. I'm okay having that there. Um, I've got this black thing, has a ton of just old jewelry in it that I just really need to go through and declutter. And then this is my gym bag. And so I need to just kind of go through and see what random crap I have shoved in there um, that I probably just need to take out and put in the appropriate place rather than just shoving it in the corner. So I'll probably take care of that today. All right, this next section I think is looking pretty good overall still. This is where I keep all of my tops. 
and everything is still fitting really nicely. I even have a ton of empty hangers over here that are not in use, so I feel really good about that. Um, the only thing is that, again, these shirts are not really categorized anymore. I have long sleeve mixed in with short sleeve, mixed in with sleeveless, mixed in with button fronts. But other than that, I feel like this section looks pretty good right here. I just have my hanging shelf with all of my towels on it, so I think this section's doing pretty good still as well. And then in this section here is where I have all of my my t-shirts and my underclothes and my pajamas here on the bottom so for the most part this section isn't in too bad of shape my t-shirts are starting to overflow as you can see a little bit so I probably do need to go through and declutter some of those and then the very last section is where I keep all of my longer hanging items so all of my dresses my dusters that sort of thing again Overall, it's looking pretty good. I just need to kind of further subdivide them because again, I have different sleeve lengths mixed in. So I will go through and fix that as well. So I have all of my summer clothes in these two flat bins here. Um, it's a little hard to see them against my white quilt, but um, yeah, it's just two bins full of summer clothes. And basically I try to limit myself to this amount of clothes. So basically what can fit in my closet and what can fit in these two bins are all the clothes that I'm allowed to have. Um, so yeah, these fit under my bed nicely, which is really easy and convenient for storage. So what I'm planning to do today is go through and first of all declutter these, um, which I also already did before I packed them away for the winter but I'm going to do it again um, and just give everything a second thought to see if I want to actually keep it or not. And so then I can place everything that's in here in my closet and then I will be taking my winter clothes out of my closet and putting them in the bins. And I've got my trash bag over there in the corner ready to receive all my donations. So let's go. Boy, every time you look at me, I know you see my knees go to keep it together, hey boy Every time you say goodbye Every time you say goodnight I wanna steal you away forever Oh, we can go across the oceans And see the world tonight Oh, say hello to the mountains And watch the new sunrise But no matter what the country the city, the street, by land or by sea, together forever is my favorite place to be. Hey girl, I never ever thought we'd be, I never ever thought I'd see, then I saw your smile. I'd show exactly what I'm feeling now But it's impossible to hide Oh, we can go across the oceans and see the world tonight Oh, say hello to the mountains and watch the new sunrise But no matter what the country, the city, the street by land or by sea Together forever is my favorite place to be
So here I was just thinking to myself, seriously, how long are you gonna hold on to this stupid jewelry organizer? It has to be, I'm not kidding, at least 10 plus years old. I've just been collecting junk in there over the years. What I need to do is take my own advice and realize that once I sit down to do it, it's really not gonna take me that long. I just need to make the time to get it done. So that's what I'm gonna do. You guys hold me accountable. Keep asking me when that video is coming, but I promise you I am gonna get it done and you will see a video on it sometime coming soon. Okay, so here I am just showing you what I am working with on my bed here. These are all of my winter clothes that I need to go through and declutter as well as put away in the bins. 
so that they can be stored away for the summer. And then I also have a number of things that I will be decluttering out of my summer clothes that I'm not gonna keep for this year. So I can go through and pull those out and put them in my donation bag as well. But I just wanted to show you what my bed is looking like with everything pulled out of my closet that I need to kind of sort through and organize before I go ahead and put everything back into place. on the corner of nothing and nowhere we'll grow tomatoes and drink mojitos on the front porch stairs and you can walk around in your flip-flops while i sit and watch the passing clouds then we'll be off to bed and we will wake up in a little while On the corner of busy and restless We'll move away from the city Into each other That is where we belong
house on the corner of nothing and nowhere. All right, so I'm all done now. I have finished switching out my winter and summer clothes. I've got things put back in the bin so that I can store them away. And my closet is nicely organized and cleaned up again. So I am going to walk you through and show you what it looks like now. All right, so starting with the left side, I pretty much have everything in the same general areas. I just kind of went through and first of all decluttered and then switched everything out and reorganized by sleeve length or type of garment. So now this top rack is reorganized with all like the denim jackets together, more of the casual sweatshirt hoodie type things together, the blazers all together. And then the bottom rack I just have my all my pants together and then my skirts. And then up here is still loungewear, um, just a few pairs of pants to wear around the house and my robe. Jewelry, we'll skip that for now. And then on this shelf, I cleared out most of my leggings um, for the summertime. So I just left a few pair um, just in case I need them. But for the most part, I packed my leggings away. And so this is mostly room for shorts now. And then my camis are still here. And then of course I have all my workout gear still on this shelf, but I pulled out more of the things that are more appropriate for summer and put away more of the long sleeved items. So this is a lot roomier now, which is nice. And then I've got my shoes still here, still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with all of these. The only ones I really wear, like I said, are the indoor workout shoes. So um, we'll figure that out at some point. And then the floor looks so much better. My gym bag is actually tucked back in that corner behind that jewelry thing that I still need to go through. But I went through and I completely emptied out my gym bag and I just left a pair of shower shoes in there, I think, but everything else I took out and put in um, a more appropriate storage location rather than just a random bag shoved in the corner of my closet. And then I still have my yoga mat. I also have a foam roller back there. So those are a lot easier to get to now. And then over here, I have my tops in the middle section, but I have now rearranged them so that they go by sleeve length. So all of my sleeveless tops start into my short sleeves and then just a couple of lighter long sleeved items that I have for spring and summer as well. And then I still have a ton of empty hangers back there if you can see those. So um, again, still feel pretty good about the extra space. Over here you can see my t-shirt bins are no longer overflowing. Now I am in the process of doing laundry, so I may have to further declutter those, but I did get rid of a few, so they all fit right now, but I have to see what all is currently in the laundry to see if I need to go through those even more. And then last but not least, all of my longer hanging items, my dresses, my rompers, all of that is nicely organized again by sleeve length and by length of the garment. And then I've got some robes and uh, fancier dresses that I don't really wear that often, but I just keep them out so that they're not scrunched up in my bins. Um, so I'll just keep those hanging in the back. I don't access those as much, so the stuff that I wear a lot more often I have up in the front of this rack. So here is just a wider shot of everything so you can see what the full closet looks like. It's easy for me to put things away after I'm doing laundry, so um, functionality over form is for sure um, my motto when it comes to organizing spaces like this. So yeah, I think it overall looks pretty good. I ended up with one bag to donate, so the big black trash bag is full of donations and then just one small bag of trash. I was really happy with that because the big bag tells me that I'm doing a good job of getting rid of stuff. And the small bag tells me that I didn't have a ton of trash in my closet that needed to be thrown away, so I feel pretty good about those. So that's it for my master bedroom closet update and reorganization for switching out my winter and spring clothes. I hope that it gave you some ideas and motivation if there's an area in your home that you need to organize. I've said this many times before, but I will say it again. I really encourage you to just tackle whatever it is that you need to get done when it comes to declutter and organizing your spaces. Take it one step at a time, just pick one area and focus on it. And I promise you, it will not take you as long as you think it will. 
this process today took me maybe about an hour. It took longer because I had to keep moving the camera and my lighting and all of that around. But if I would have just been focused on doing this and not recording myself, I know I would have been able to get it done in under an hour. So again, I hope that it just gave you some ideas and inspires you to get organizing in your home. And really quick before I go, just a reminder to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post weekly content on Sundays around cooking, cleaning, home organization, and then we just talk about topics that are real and relevant to women at all different stages of our lives. So if you're interested in topics like that, then definitely make sure you subscribe before you leave. We would love to have you as a part of our family here at Crystal Elaine TV. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out a ton. As always, thanks again so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.